So why did you decide to switch networks to TLC? Were they not interested in giving you the, your own show? I had a working relationship with WeTV because WeTV and the production company I did Married Food Camp with. Um, and when they found out that I was doing this journey, they were like, hey, we'd like to talk to you about, you know, sitting back and documenting your your thing. And I was like, that's fine. Um, with or without cameras, I was going to do this journey um you know, no matter what. Okay, so it's no like bad blood or anything. Just uh, uh they canceled the show, no. so you moved on. No. Okay, guys. Actually, no, no. I, I, actually, our production company works with uh, TLC um, quite a bit, so um, I still associate with some of the people from TLC. This has been classified as a, you know, I know you mentioned on the, the first episodes that it's a revenge diet aimed at Sugar Bear for cheating on you. Was that really what motivated you the most? Um, yes, for the most part it was, um, it was just him that I was actually worth something and that, you know, he had no control over me anymore and that I was just to him that I was going to be bigger and better than I was when I was with him. Or smaller, awesome. you know. <laughs> <laughs> smaller and better. Do you still talk with Sugar Bear? Does he see the kids often? Um, no, not really. Maybe like five minutes on the phone once a month. Does he still see the kid, the the girls often, or no? No. If Sugar Bear's marriage didn't work out, would you ever consider getting back together with him? I know we're on radio, but hell to the no. I like to have a more better word, but um, we're gonna leave it. You know, we don't want you FCC to come after you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, have you reached your ideal weight, or are you trying to lose more currently? Um, I never had, like, an ideal weight in mind. I pretty much maintain where I was at now for, like, for a little while, for a couple months. Um, so I'm, you know, pretty much happy where I'm at right now. What do you see when you look in the mirror? Do you see a thin person now, or do you look in the mirror and just see your flaws? Um, no, I don't really too much like see um the faults. Um, I pretty much see myself now as I've always seen myself mentally. So for me it's kinda like everybody's getting to see my body, my outside body, the way I've always pictured myself because when I look back at old pictures I'll be like, That's not me, that's not me, that's not me, that's not me. Um, me I've always seen myself as being a smaller person. Um, so now I'm kinda like I get out of the shower, I'll rub my stomach, I'll rub my arms, you know. I'm like, damn. Did you wear a fat suit and prosthetics before the premiere so you didn't spoil the reveal? Um, definitely did not wear a fat suit. I was fat. <laughs> uh, people kind of realized that this journey's been going on since May um, of last year. Um, we, um, the third my last surgery was this in December, in December. Are you encouraging your kids to lose weight with you, or is this just something for yourself? Um, I do encourage them to, like, lose weight, but, I mean, they're teenagers. If your daughters wanted to do um, everything you did and wanted to do the surgeries that you did to lose weight, would you let them do it? Would you encourage them to do the same journey that you went through? If it would make them confident, yes, I would definitely. I would recommend these surgeries. You need to do your research, definitely, and that's what put me into the gastric sleeve to begin with because that helps you lose as much weight as possible, and then you can have the skin removal surgery done because if you do the skin removal surgery done without anything before, you're liable to have that spend the money and do it again. Yeah, I know. Paying pay for them myself is very, very – a lot of people ask that. I'm like, no, I have to pay just like everybody else. Okay, yeah, because some people think that, I guess, the TV networks and the production companies no, pay for no. that. So, so you, this has no. been your journey, and you've funded it and done everything yourself, right? Yes, because like I said, it was going to happen whether I had them or not. What procedures have you had, and are you planning on having more plastic surgery? Definitely not going to have any more. I wouldn't consider them being plastic surgery because to me, plastic surgery is having something broke or something put on or you know, whatever. But that's what they call it. Um, the tummy tuck, um, my breasts, my arms, and um, my face. Not my face per se, but like my neck and stuff. Okay, gotcha. So like, the, was it skin removal and fat removal of your neck? Yeah, uh, everything. Yeah. Everything was it just a, just. Removal. 
Okay. Oh, skin on your breast too. Was it augmentation or just like a lift? Just a lift. Uh, did yes. you get surgery for your uh, cataracts as well, or is that something that you might consider? No, because that honestly scares me. I'm blind in one eye and legally blind in the other, so it just kind of it really worries me. I don't want to lose any more vision than what I've already have. Now, I also read that you are not wanting any more kids. Um, is that yeah, is it not. still uh, is it still a possibility that you can have kids, or did you get that surgery mm -hmm. as well? <laughs> yeah, that surgery was done. Um, almost 12 years ago. <laughs> um, are you yeah. dating anyone? And if so, can you tell us who it is? No, I am not. So there's no way to tell. <laughs> okay, so you're enjoying the single life. Mm, it sounds enjoying it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Yeah, right person that hasn't come along. I got you. Yes. Who is your celebrity crush? Um, had to be Mario Lopez. Mario Lopez. Uh, did you vote this election, and what are your thoughts on Donald Trump? Um, I have not. I did not vote this year. I'm not really a political person. Alana was Miss Trump um, a few years ago, but it doesn't make me oh like him better, like him worse. I mean, I have friends on my Facebook that like him. I have friends that don't like him, and when they talk about that, it's just like they're talking in like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I saw here whenever you talk political shit. <laughs> Who, who have you met that's uh, a big fan of of, uh, of your last show? Um, I'd have to say the craziest one. I mean, not the craziest one, but the most one that stands out in my in my mind off the hand. Um, we had to be Miley Cyrus. I was like, Good Morning America, and we were doing her and Ryan C. Chris and Keith Urban were doing the Our Heart Radio tour. And this has been a few years ago. Um, and there was hundreds of PAs and security around because we were doing it outside. She walked by and she screamed, oh, my God, oh, my God, Mama Jim's in the building. And I was like, okay, I'm thinking because they're walking outside, it's just a fan, you know what I'm saying, because they stand outside. And come to find out later when we actually were on the green, um, it was her. So I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> Is that your only interaction with her? Um, She has FaceTimed with Pumpkin. Um, what can we expect uh, from the rest of the season? Could you give us any um, any heads up on like what what we're gonna see? Some of the stuff that we touched on with Mage Boot Camp was sure where you'll be able to see the true side of what me and the girls had to deal with and I think people are going to get a the wake up that they were not probably expecting when it comes to Sugar Bear because a lot of people were shot with Mary Food Camp, but I think fans will be even more shocked. But I'm glad that people are going to be able to see every aspect, not just with myself, but with the life that we dealt with, with the life we deal with now and how much happier me and the girls are. Okay. So then um with with Sugar Bear, like is it is it pretty much as the season goes on, you you'll see less and less of him until like you mentioned now that, you know, he doesn't even see you guys. Is that it just kind of dissolves that relationship? Um, you will see a little bit of that. Um, but the, um, even before, like, the show um, we started, um, the relationship was with him and the kids were pretty much almost non-existent. But as as it comes along, it, it just shows the true um, real reality that was actually going on behind closed doors that y'all got a tidbit of in Mary Boot Camp, but now are going to be able to get the full dose of it. Hey, you know, one more thing, too. Um, so mm -hmm. I actually do PR for uh, Dr. Miami, who is, as you know, mm -hmm. is part of the, the Wee TV family. And yeah, Pumpkin, Pumpkin used to, <laughs> yeah, Pumpkin yeah. actually is a huge fan, wanted um, something done by him. It was kind of weird. She watches his snap all the time.